Greetings! If you're a magpie or a dragon, just like me, and you have a lot of jewelry at home, you will find that some pieces, especially bronze and silver ones, tend to become a little bit dull over time. Now that is not a bad thing and it's totally reversible. The reason being that either you've just had it for a really long time or you haven't been treating your jewelry all that well, like I do sometimes. Reasons for that include not taking off your jewelry before applying perfume or cream or especially sunscreen in the summer, this is what I'm most guilty of. So your jewelry tends to stop being shiny. But fear not my friends, today I'm gonna show you how you can very easily reverse this with something you probably already have at home. Yes indeed, my cat is right. We are going to use tomato ketchup. That is as easy as it gets. You just need the ketchup and a jar and you want to place all your jewelry into this jar and then coat it with a thick layer of ketchup making sure everything is nice and covered. If you have a ketchup bottle at home, which I don't, I had to go borrow some, it's a lot less messy on this part but you're gonna get your hands dirty later on anyway so it doesn't matter. And you want to make sure it's all nice and coated with the ketchup and then you let it sit. You can use this method with both brass, bronze and also with copper, I would recommend checking every five minutes to make sure the pieces turn out the way you want them to turn out. Some materials can get a teeny tiny bit of a pink hue if you leave it in for too long, so make sure to check every five minutes and you should be safe. And as you're going to see in a bit, you won't even need to polish the jewelry afterwards. It also works for silver. But for silver, I generally do recommend getting a specific silver cleaning lotion, which works just the same way as with the ketchup. And now this is what looks like what nightmares are made of. Ew. <laughs> so you just want to rinse your jewelry very well and then also pat or rub it dry with any kind of cloth you want. I'm using a washcloth. And look how shiny this is once all the ketchup and water has got off. It looks so nice. I seriously love um, taking the jewelry back out is my favorite part of the process. It's so satisfying. And the longer you leave it in and the more shiny it gets, the lighter the color it gets, obviously. So that's why I said earlier, check every five minutes so that it doesn't get too light. But even if you got it too light, wearing it for a couple of weeks is going to reverse the process of shininess over time as it goes with jewelry. So yeah. I usually tend to clean my jewelry once in a year. Sometimes I take longer than that and with some jewelry pieces I never ever clean them. So you can see the color difference here. It all depends on preference. I really hope this video was helpful for you and was helping on the quest of getting your bling shiny and sparkly again. Also, don't forget to check out Windalf. I will leave a link down in the description box or in the video if I can manage. We'll see. I just love the jewelry and you're not gonna regret. Have a look at their amazing stuff. My favorite jewelry supplier of all times, ever, for sure. Also, I'm going to wish you a really magical rest of the week. I will see you guys back on Monday with probably a vlog, but I'm not quite sure because I'm having a bit of a busy week at the moment and we shall see what it will be on Monday. So, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye.